Hello, welcome to Geeked Up Board Games. My name's Carl, and today we're gonna to be learning how to play Exploding Kittens. <coughs> so Exploding Kittens is a fantastic party game for two to five players. It's from the makers of Unstable Unicorns, and it's a card game that's really fun and really easy to learn. So to start with, you'll want to have your cards laid out like this. You'll have three separate piles, a pile of Exploding Kitten cards. We'll get to those in a second. Your second pile will be your six Diffuse cards, which are very important to the game. And finally, your main pile of cards, which is face down and just left there at the moment. So the first thing you want to do is determine how many players you have. For now, I'm going to assume a four player game. So each of the players will be dealt a single diffuse card. The rest of the diffuse cards then get randomly shuffled into the deck. And then you deal seven cards to each player. Finally, you take your exploding kitten cards, you determine how many players you have, so four players, and you draw out minus one of the exploding kittens cards. So for the four player game, we've got three exploding kitten cards, which we are randomly going to shuffle into the main deck. And now we're all good to go. You just need to decide who goes first. Let's say whoever's the most excited by cats. So once you're good to go, you should have something in your hands that looks like this. Seven cards plus the diffuse card we mentioned earlier. Now you'll notice, thanks to the look of the draw, I've ended up with two diffuse cards. That's fantastic for me. We'll get to that in a second. But what do the cards mean? Well, each card will have a message on it. It'll tell you what it can do. So for instance, this card is the favor card. It allows you to take your friend beard sailing on the beard boat. Or to translate, a player of your choice must give you one of their cards that they choose. You may have other cards that allow you to blindly take any one of their cards. You may be able to attack them and force them to take multiple turns, skip your go or anything else. The messages will be on the cards. I won't spoil the fun. You can discover those for yourself while playing. But once you reach your turn, it's up to you if you want to use the cards. You don't have to use any of them. You could use all of them. Entirely up to you. But once you've decided what you want to do and how many cards you want to play, you quite simply take the top card off the deck. And that ends your turn. You then move to the next player who repeats the process. I want to use my favourite card. Hmm. Of course, eventually somebody's going to end their turn and they will draw the exploding kitten card. What? As you can imagine, exploding is game over, unless you have your diffuse card to hand, at which point you simply use your diffuse card to distract the exploding kitten. <coughs> now, once you've played your diffuse card, you now secretly place the exploding kitten back in the deck. And it's up to you where you want to play it. So if you want to be mean, you could target a particular player or you can even just place it straight on the top so that the next player in line is going to draw it but be careful because even if they haven't got a diffuse card if they figure out where you've placed the exploding kitten they could use their cards to skip a go attack you and make you draw the exploding kitten return and that in a nutshell is how you're going to play exploding kittens so each player will continue to use their cards to try and avoid drawing the exploding kitten card if they do draw the exploding kitten card they'll use their diffuse card to save their life and if they don't have a diffuse card they're going to explode the game ends once all three exploding kittens have been used the winner is the player that didn't explode <laughs>